that Jesus came to, to die and give us a life that he has called us to live. He said, I've come to give you life, life more abundantly. There's a life that God intends, intended and intends us to live through Christ, through the, through the Holy Spirit, the Zoe kind of life, like we spoke about a couple of weeks ago. The, it's called the God kind of life. That we, and the only way we'll be able to live that life, operate in it, is that we cannot do it in our own accord. We cannot do it by our own willpower. We cannot do it by our own intelligence, our strength, our determination. We need the fire of God. We need the presence of the Holy Spirit that indwells in us, not just to indwell in us, but to operate through us. I'm going to uh, title um, this message... Um, would check. I was just looking for that message title for a moment. Would check. So I've seen this, you know, especially in hall houses that they have little fireplaces as a travel or little barbecue pits. Um, and what they do is when when they go out and collect the wood, they store this wood in a shed. They gather all the wood and they store it in the shed. Some they use at the moment and th that which is not being used, they store it in the shed. And you know, so they build a shed specifically just to store and uh, the wood. So basically they said, see, when the weather is dry, like when it's summer, when the weather is dry, there's no rain in the air, there's no dew, then it's not a problem. But when it rains, it soaks the wood and wet wood cannot catch fire. Amen. So with that thought, I actually want to take it into this morning's message. I believe many of us truly in our heart, we want to be on fire with God, on for God. We want to live the life that Jesus called us to live, but we are unable to sustain it in a manner. We, can, we sometimes have it for seasons, or we have it for bursts of time, or we have it for moments. So we have it in sputters, but it's not sustained. You know, and we, and we struggle to live this life in a sustained manner because many of us, the truth be told, have allowed the rain around us to get on us. The Bible says it rains on the just and the un so When we talk about rain, it's not just the, the blessings, it's also the burdens and the trials that come in life. So it rains on everyone, but wood that is protected is the wood that is covered. It's covered from what other wood is exposed to. It's protected from the effects of the rain. So when I when I start thinking about it, it is not the presence of the rain that's the problem. It's not the presence of the rain that's the problem. It's the absence of covering that that is the problem. The wood does not need to be soaking for it to be useless as firewood. It does not necessarily need to be soaking with water for it to be useless. It just needs to be exposed enough to absorb some part. So even if the wood has absorbed about 40% or 60%, it is still useless to be used as firewood. There are some people who want to be used by God but don't want to separate themselves to be used by God. Amen. When you have a piece of dry wood, okay, let me explain like this. When you have a piece of dry wood and you have a piece of wet wood and you put it together, the wet wood does not become dry, but the dry wood becomes wet. Amen. Well, if you can turn with me to the book of John and chapter 12, uh, verses 42. Nevertheless, even among the rulers, many believed in him. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. For they loved the praises of men more than the praise of God. Hallelujah. People heard about what happened to Lazarus and what Jesus did. So the news has spread. This is the most talked about event. And many people that were present there witnessed that event. There were many of them that were there that witnessed this miracle that had different reactions on them 
and from them. While some believed in him, some were disturbed by him. While some people receive it with gladness, a lot of people reject it with spite. Amen. The Bible says what? Faith comes by hearing. And we all know that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word. But transformation comes by doing. When you respond to what we hear is what brings transformation, victory and breakthrough. Amen. It's not so it's not just the hearing of the word, but it's also the responding to that word. And the reason why the same miracle had different effects, the Bible says that's because some of them love the praises of man. So it's not the fire, it was the word. We have to take moments where we need to evaluate in our own life what and who we are being exposed to or come in contact with, allowing it or allowing them to influence and affect our lives. And if you're allowing the rain to fall on you and or if you're constantly leaning on others that are already wet, then you will understand why you are not able to walk in the fire. Who you bring around your inner circle. Because if they are wet wood and you are bringing them around you, you will catch the wetness of their life on you and you will not be able to operate in fire. Yes, you might have grown up together. Yes, you know, the person might be popular. You might have great times together. They may be fun. They may have, they might have a lot of advice, but if they are wet wood and you then can catch what's upon them.